What do you look for in new music? Oh, tune. Not particularly interested in genre. I mean, when I'm looking for new music, I have a radio show on XFM in London, so I'm looking for songs that I can play on my radio show, basically. I want something that hooks people in right from the off with a great tune. What sort of similarities do you see between yourself as a younger musician and the musicians today? You've got to be, in order to make it in the music industry, you have to be insanely ambitious. I and mean, I think it's like, it's like that in all the creative industries, really. Do you think it's got tougher and they're maybe a little bit more crazy? It's definitely got tougher for a new band. The odds are always stacked against you. You know, the tiny number of bands in every generation get forward to the next stage. Talk about the, the sort of the fun of the early days. Do you have good memories of that time? The fun times were definitely fun. We were working kind of 18 hour days at that point though, so that's why we were all slightly random. In the first flush of your success, you have to do absolutely everything that's offered. Every interview, every TV show, every gig, everything. So you're charging around a million miles an hour. I think about the early days, I remember sort of in the 90s when I was at school, Blur probably influenced the style of half half the people I went to school with or um, myself. Oasis, the other half. It was almost like the allegiance thing um, between different bands. But how, how did Blur sort of develop? Was it just stuff you wore? Yeah, I mean, I'm still wearing now what I wore in those days. Fred Perry made me brand of jeans have changed. That's about it, really. When you're, when you're together with the same people for, for such a long period of time, a kind of uh, style evolves between all of you. Bit of a uniform almost. Yeah, I mean that you know that any group of mates that kind of happens to some extent, doesn't it? Do you sort of see politics? Given your interest in politics, do you, do you see that coming through a new generation? I think uh, young people have always been very political, but it, what it means to be political changes with the times that you live in. Party politics, to some extent, has gone out of fashion. Issue politics has come into fashion. The idea that young people aren't, you know, bands aren't uh, political anymore is frankly bollocks. If you could have had one bit of advice that would have been very useful and you'd wish you've had, what, what would it have been? We did have a piece of advice that really underpinned our success in the early days. It was from a, an older and wiser uh, person who worked for our record company who'd been in the band called The Teardrop Explodes in the 70s and 80s. And uh, his advice was that I, at the end of the day, it's ideas that are worth money in the creative industries. So the one thing you can't have enough of is ideas, and you need ideas for everything in all areas of your career. So we've kind of lived by that and have just constantly tried to come up with new ways of doing old things. Do you and the rest of Blur sort of recommend music to each other? Do you, was, that always, was that part of your friendship and relationship, is it, over the um, years? We play music to each other, yeah. Do your suggestions go down well? Yeah, musicians love to find new music. Some of the best music that's ever been made is being made at the moment. This is one of the most exciting times for music there's ever been.